Hey Artland, how's it going? So in honor of Earth Day, I want to show you guys how to draw some different endangered animals. And one of the animals that I want to show you guys how to draw is really cool looking, and that is the pangolin. Now the pangolin is a really cool animal, and it's got these really cool spikes on it all over its body, and it's almost like armor plated. And when it gets into trouble, it just rolls up into a ball to protect itself. Now, to start off with this pangolin, we're going to make the face. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and that's just going to kind of come down a little bit like that. Then right here, I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve around and then I'm just going to kind of go up and then kind of go down a little bit. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve up really tall, and then I'm just going to kind of bring it down like this, and I'm just going to bring it all the way out here. Now, starting here, I'm going to take this line, I'm just going to kind of curve it down a little bit. And then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. Then I'm going to take this line and to make the hand I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then I'm just going to go down and then bring it back up here. They have these really sharp claws. Then starting here I'm going to do the same thing just to make another one that goes down and comes up. And then one more right here. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes up and I'm just going to kind of curve it right to here. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then it's just going to kind of come down like this. And then I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down and I'm just going to go down like this and come back for one of the feet. And then I'm going to add a little claw like this. Then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up and then it's going to curve up to here. And then starting right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go all the way to the tail here. Now, starting here, I'm going to add another foot, so I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down, and I'm just going to do that same thing, just kind of curve down and then come back. And then I'm just going to add another one right there. And then I'm just going to leave this one alone. Just We'll have another one back here, but I'm just going to leave this just so we can kind of see the details on it. So now we want to add the face. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then down like this. Then I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve up and down. And then I'm going to add a nice big circle in here and I'm going to color in most of this and just leave a little bit white. Then right here, I'm going to add a little line above it, and then a little line right below it. Now for the nose, I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve up like this. And then for the ear, they have a really crazy looking ear. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to kind of curve like this, kind of like a backwards C. And then I'm going to start here and I'm going to make another one that goes right around it. Now, I want to add some of their famous little spikes onto here. So to start off with this, I'm just going to start right here by the nose and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up like this. 
Then when I start the next one, I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of curve up. And then I'm just going to kind of repeat this all the way across the top of the head. Like that. Now, when I get to here, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to, I'm going to put two of them in here. So I'm going to draw one that curves up, and then I'm going to go down. And then I'm going to draw one right here that just kind of goes up. So I'm going to do that same thing, just kind of curve up and then come down. Add another one that just kind of curves up and then it can go down like this. Now I want to kind of fill in the body here with all of these different little kind of plates on here. So I'm going to add some more down here. I'm just going to kind of curve up and go in kind of curve and just kind of go to here. And then I'm going to add a couple small ones right over here. And then I'm going to add some down here on the arm. So I'm going to just kind of connect this and then just add some kind of little V shapes right here onto the arm. And then I'm going to add some more onto here. So I'm just going to add some more little kind of plates all over. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bring these plates all the way up here towards the top. So I'm just going to kind of add all of these little plates going all the way up to here. Then I'm just going to kind of keep doing this and I'm just going to fill up this whole section right here with all of these plates. And then right here, I'm just going to put some small little plates right here, and then I'm just going to keep bringing them all the way up towards the top here. Now, starting here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a line that just kind of goes out and then up like this, and then I'm just going to kind of keep repeating this pattern. And as you can see, I'm kind of just going towards like the top of this next one or the pointiest part or even just a little bit underneath it just to kind of create this kind of plated little scale pattern. So I'm going to kind of continue this all the way through and I'm just going to fast forward through this part really quickly. Okay, now that I got this part done right here, I'm going to add some more spikes onto here and then we'll kind of continue them up here. So I'm just going to add some small ones right here and I'm just going to add another row of plates that goes right up here. And then I'm just going to kind of keep adding a few more rows. And I'm going to kind of fill up all the way to here. So let's kind of fill up this leg just like that. And then you can always put a couple more right here. Now on the tail, what I'm going to do is just kind of the same thing. I'm just going to kind of keep adding these little spike patterns that go all the way across. And I'm just going to kind of keep placing them right along here. And they're going to get a little bit smaller as you go closer towards the end of the tail. So I'm going to make these just a little bit smaller as I get down towards the end of the tail. And I'm just going to kind of fill in all the way down to here. Now when you get to here, I'm just going to add a few kind of little spikes and little plates right along here. And then right along here, I'm just going to add some curved lines for the claws. And then I'm just going to kind of connect these little lines here. And then I'm going to add a couple more little rows of some kind of plates right along the face. I'm going to add a little line right here for the mouth. And then I'm just going to kind of add a couple little kind of curved lines right here where the neck would be. I'm going to kind of connect the ear right here. 
and I'm going to add a couple little lines right around it because they've got a few little plates on their ears. Make a little line right underneath the eye. And then I'm just going to add a couple little kind of lines right around the face here. And there you go. There is your drawing of a pangolin. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.